<laughs> Driving this thing is so cool. Oh. I don't know if I want to get out. so dangerous. They're so dangerous because they're just smart enough to know how to control people beyond just making them afraid. But also involving religion and it just inventing his own fucking religion and becoming the messiah of it or whatever. Can't wait to kill them. Oh, what a cool view. Every time I see something like, like that, I'm like, oh, what a beautiful bird, and then I remember, oh, it's a demon. Ooh. Creepy basement. Okay, full of spider webs. So that house I just went to is one question mark. This little shack over here is another. There's also this one back here, though. This little shack. It's not marked on the map, but it looks like it'd have something in it. Why 
Пойдем, покажу кое-что интересное. Эна? У меня эта пыль доконает. Смотри, как я тут устроилась. В Москве было похоже. Правда, жарище тут, духота. Чувствую, скоро свалюсь, как Степа. В общем, что я тут разведала? Видишь кран на краю пирса? В кабине кто-то есть. Толком не разглядеть, но мне кажется, он меня заметил, как только я пришла сюда. Для наблюдения за базой точка отличная, так что проверить нужно. Теперь посмотри на тот разбитый корабль. Самый большой, у самого обреза воды. Видишь? Так вот, он не разбит, а разобран. Туда несколько раз подъезжали грузовики с клетками. Похоже, эти бандиты держат там местных. За портом какое-то здание. Думаю, это диспетчерская аэродрома, но не уверена. В любом случае, техники там должно быть много. Может найти что-нибудь интересное. Молодцы вы с Дамиром. Thank you. I'm worried about Anna. Я буду дальше следить за вышками, а ты решай, что делать дальше. Как же хочется смыть себя песок. Быстрее бы убраться из этой пустыни. Yeah, when's the last time anybody had a shower? На крыше как раз канатка в ту сторону. Oh, oh yeah. It's really cool that they actually pointed stuff out. Like, it's an, a fantastic backdrop to look at all this behind Anna as she's talking. But also she actually points directly at stuff and tells me like, Hey, I've been here. I've been looking at stuff. That's what that is. This is how it might be useful to us. That crane's a good place to look out. It's got someone up there. That's where they keep the prisoners. Something about an air control tower that has useful stuff over here? Oh, it must be that. Yep. Is that a demon hanging upside down there? That is so cool. I've never seen them do that. Hanging upside down in the shimmering heat of the desert. Oh, it's so cool. And there's all that over there. Oh, that's where the train's gonna go, isn't it? That's a bridge. That's where the train continues. Yep. Right? Yeah, the black... Oh, the black is the train track. Well, hmm. If the black is the train track, then actually it could go over there, but it also could keep going where Artum's thumb is. On the bottom right. Splits off. Слушай, подвинься. Я тут наблюдение веду в конце концов. It's also a nice detail that they have Anna's weapon here, but unlike most weapons, well, unlike all weapons that you see just out in the world. I don't know what you're saying. There's no subtitles for some reason. Unlike most weapons in the world, where you can strip them for parts, you can't strip this one because it's Anna's. Of course, you're not going to strip their weapon. They need it. I'll be careful. I'm trying to see the person that's up there. There was somebody up there, right? I think that's what Anna said. Looks like there's a skeleton with a helmet on it up perched up there. I 
Okay. Well, I think we marked everything on the map. Let's see all the little icons pop up. So satisfying. I guess I already opened the map to look at the train tracks, so not satisfying. Hmm. I'm just thinking, do I want to bring the maps back to the Aurora right now? Or check out all these question marks? Has been a long time since I've been back to the Aurora, but forget it. I'm scared of prematurely ending everything, so no. Let me go get the van. Hey, monsters. Won't be so tough in a minute. I know it takes more time to ride this thing, get out, ride this thing, get out, but it's so fun to ride. Maybe I will go back to the Aurora. It's right there. It's not going to end it just to deliver the freaking maps, right? Right. I'll make a save and I'll load it if for some reason it does. It really shouldn't. storm coming in, I think. Oh yeah. Do I need my mask, actually, for this? Uh, it's not using up the filter, so I guess I don't, but I feel like I should have it on. I'm sure it's less, uh, a lot more pleasant. Oh, they set up a little camp. Holy shit, yeah, that's storm. Я связался с их главарем, так называемым бароном, но его условия 
неприемлемый. Гюлер рассказал где источник, но он, естественно, охраняется нефтяниками. Дамир провел разведку. Шанс проникнуть туда скрытно есть. В общем, Артем, как будешь готов, выдвигайся навстречу с Дамиром. Ваша задача — любой ценой доставить воду на Аврору. Удачи, Артем. Я... Мы все рассчитываем на тебя. Крест, как там погодка? Буря, кажись, и вышла вся. Я на пост. Отлично. I wonder where that picture's from. Look at that. What a tunnel. That just like screams stalker and metro and <laughs> wasteland. На месте особо не церемонитесь. Положение критическое. Еще пара дней, и мы не то что от нефтяников, от своры собак бродячих не отобьемся. Come on, idiot. Research faster. I'm, that's their name. I don't mean that as an insult. I want to know. Like, I see hotspots and stuff. Что у тебя? Ну что я могу сказать? Не зря мы сюда ехали. Уже разобрался? Кажется, да. Уровень Нам заражения повезло, показан что цветом. Основные силы нефтяников ушли в набег. Иначе сюда уже давно пожаловали бы непрошенные гости. Guess I just gotta give him time. Oh, he finally is a workshop. Артем, пока тебя не было, я доделал для тихаря еще одну штуку. Можешь установить? Heck yes, heck yes. Oh, this means I can finally get new weapons and stuff, right? I assume I can switch out my weapons here. Some of the resources you gathered were spent maintaining the Aurora and supporting the crew. Don't forget to prepare for the next stop, checking your remaining equipment. Interesting. I don't quite know what that means. Some of the resources you gathered were spent on the Aurora. Like, what resources? Exactly. I don't want to miss this. Hmm. Но нам бы хоть в оставшемся разобраться. А где искать-то, товарищ полковник? Крупные города я бы сразу отметал, это основные цели. Но и в полную глушь тоже двигать особого желания нет. I wonder if there's something very special in the Far East, if somebody snatched the maps. Maybe it's totally clear or something? Вот тут чисто вроде. А, ну да, степь. А если севернее? На месте особо не церемонитесь. Положение критическое. Еще пара дней. Okay, Miller's already said that. I think we're starting to loop. Let's see what Tucker have made for the T-car. Oh yeah, and we can use the other weapons, including a bunch that I don't know if I've seen before. Hold on. Hold on. What are these? Shambler. Uh, okay, that's entirely new, I think. Gatling. That's not new. I know what that is, but I don't want it. Valve. That's the super sniper. Haven't really used it for the most part, but I've had it before. The bulldog. That's the new assault rifle that I've been using. It's really good. But yeah, the shambler. I wonder how that's going to compare to the A shot. A shot. Uh, anyway, first, T car. From airtight pneumatic system to automatic pneumatic, sy uh, pneumatic system. Constantly adds air to system when pressure is below normal level. You can still use hand pump system. Oh! Oh, that's nice! So if you really need to use it, like, a lot really fast, you still want to use the hand pump, but it will slowly fill itself up. So you don't have to keep like topping it up if you just take a couple shots and then put it away. That's nice. Very convenient. 
Well, let's craft a bunch of stuff and look at a bunch of stuff. Let's make another med kit. Let's repair our horribly broken gas mask. Yeah, extended filter, extra bright flashlight. You know, I think I'm going to get rid of the motion scanner. It's useful, but the beeping is a little bit annoying. So let's go back to the compass. And then let's check out these new weapons. So, I mean, the... Oh, I guess I... Right, I changed what weapon I had here. Is there both bulldogs? This is the one that I was using, right? It looks so, so dirty, but it's actually not very dirty. Yeah, um... Let's check out the new weapon, the Shambler specifically. This revolving shotgun is very effective at close range and stays so even at medium range, but takes quite some time to fully reload. Okay. Yeah, so let's see how that compares to the A-Shot. So let's kind of like trick them out and just see... Well, let's see how they are compared when they have no attachments at all. Just base. Okay, the stats seem very similar in terms of accuracy, stability. Um... Damage is a bit less on the Shambler. Significantly less. It's about 13 bars for the other one. The A-Shot, it's about 16. This one, of course, by default doesn't actually have a magazine. It just holds one shot. You can put the double barrel to make it hold two shot, but, you know, it doesn't hold much. So it seems like, basically, at least for the base weapon, the advantage of the Shambler is just that it actually has a magazine, so you can keep firing it, but it does do a bit less damage and shoots a little bit slower. Um... But that's not taking into account any of the attachments. So we can increase the stability quite a bit. Man, these look beautiful, don't they? Lovely worn wood. Only got the short barrel for it right now. Closed reflex sight or open? I guess let's go with closed. And what is this? What? Oh my god. Small cylinder. Smaller version of the shotgun cylinder. This magazine only holds three rounds, but can be quickly replaced with a new one. Six round shell holder provides the best reload speed and rate of fire a shotgun could ever achieve. Oh my god, it's sort of like a revolver. In that it has a revolving thing to switch out the shots. That is so cool. I can't wait to see it in action. Yeah, the double shot of the A shot, being limited to just bang bang and then you gotta reload, is really limiting. So I definitely value being able to shoot more often, even if we do have a bit less damage. Let's put a laser on there. And, uh, yeah, that looks freaking great. Let's actually just go, like, see how this thing looks. Oh my god. I love it. I love it already. Let me guess, there's unique reload animations depending on how many shells you have to reload. Because they only reloaded one. Oh, I bet there is. I want to shoot this thing. Let me save. So I can get my shots back. Let's shoot one time. Puts one back in. Let's shoot two times. Three times. Now let's shoot all six. That is so goddamn satisfying. I fucking love how, like, mmm, how tactile and satisfying so many things in this game are. Like that, that just feels so satisfying, and it looks and sounds so cool. Which is weird, because, you know, like, my relationship to guns is... I mean, I don't like guns in real life. They're terrifying and incredibly dangerous and used for all sorts of horrible things very often, and I, I don't like them, and they make me very uncomfortable. But for some reason in games, stuff like this, I'm just like, this is fucking cool. There's this weird separation between game guns and, and real life guns. Like, they're, they feel totally different to me. My reaction to them is just completely different. Oh, 
Look at that, uh... I don't know what you call that, that, like, joint where it kicks back. The part that's, like, on the very right of the screen and a little bit blurry because it's super close to the camera. It's in the, the foreground. You see how that kicks back? That is so cool. Like that big piston just firing back there. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's feeling pretty shitty. So, were they talking about the incendiary rounds that I've already seen I can make, or is this a third type of ammo? For the T-car. Oh, that would be under ammo. Yeah, they must have just been speaking about the incendiary ammunition. Must have been. Okay, so what other gun do I want? I've got a shotgun. I mean, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to pair up a shotgun with like a sniper or something. So I should probably go for the bulldog. Let's actually read the description for it. The pinnacle of the Kalosh family, this assault rifle boasts massive improvements compared to its predecessor in terms of firepower, accuracy, ergonomics, and weight. It also has a lower rate of fire, making it easier to control in burst mode. The weapon's advanced design makes it hard to maintain in the post-nuclear world, degrading its reliability. Right, well, for the Bulldog, I guess I'll probably just make it pretty much like it was before. Put a nice stock on it, uh, go with the loud but most damaging barrel. Reflex sight? Yeah. Reflex sight. Larger magazine. Red laser. And I think we're good. I suppose I could probably take the close reflex sight off of the Shambler to put it on the Bulldog, but I, I don't particularly care between, like, I, they feel pretty much the same to me. Closed or not closed, I don't have any big preference. Alright. Oh, do I need to clean any of these? Yes. I think we're good. I might want to make more shotgun ammo since I can shoot them a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cheap to make. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to some people. Taking a nap. Artyom, спасибо, что зашел ребят проведать. Я тут сижу с ними, а сердце кровью обливается. Степа вообще жару плохо переносит, а без воды, да на самом солнце. И ни слова не сказал, ведь пока не упал. Леша с князем тоже свалились. Им ведь просто вода нужна, а я ничего сделать не могу. Понятно, без воды всем не сладко. Но жалко их так. Ты уж постарайся придумать что-то, а? Спасибо, Артём. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I can. <laughs> Just collapsed without even saying anything. Trying to appear tough. Doesn't work with dehydration. Can't just tough it out. Дедушка Ермак, а у вас воды совсем больше нет? А где же ей взяться, дочка? Дядя Артём, это мне? Ух ты, спасибо! Смотрите, дедушка Ермак, у меня теперь фляга есть. Oh, right, I forgot where that was actually from until a couple seconds after giving it to him. Uh, that was a gift from uh, Kiel, right? Kiel gave that to us after we gave them the photo. Ну, теперь попросим, чтобы в нее воды налили. Будет твой неприкосновенный запас. Вау! Спасибо! Oh. 
Мам, мне дед Артем флягу подарил. Sounded like it had a bit of water in it too. I'm trying to find the teddy bear. Is it around here? Привет, Артем. Про воду ничего не слышно. Сэр, я тут, как видишь, конденсат собирать пытался. Полчаса, сэр. Но охлаждать установку нечем. За сутки и литра не вышло. Хорошо бы дождь пошел. Да только откуда здесь дожди? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you tinkering with there? See some sort of a like heat sink thing on it. Probably some drain part or something. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna take a look around the train. Like, I can probably go talk with them a little bit more, and then I don't think I've gone up there. That's not even really on the map. So just gonna look around the train, and then after that, I think I'm gonna start heading over to all the question marks to the east. 